Hi everyone, it's Dave here. Um, I'm bringing you week eight of building my Lego room back there. Okay, so welcome everyone to this video. Like I said, it is week eight of building my Lego room. Some more progress this week, which I'm quite excited to uh, show you. Um, just whilst I'm introduced this video, I'm going to leave some updates. Yeah, updates at the end of this video. Just things I've bought recently about to get delivered and one thing I've just bought which I'm really excited about so stay tuned to the end of the video I'm just going to give a brief update and there will be videos of all those products coming some one of them I'm going to show you I've done already um, but anyway without any further ado let's get into this video and show you the latest update to building my Lego room okay so here we are here you get to see the Lego room from the exterior and I'm sure you're already spotting a few new additions. Uh, one, try and get my finger in here, there. There is a PIR light up there, and down underneath here you're going to see a row of lights there, which I've described in my previous videos that they would be installed. So if we move up here now, you can indeed see there is a LED PIR there, which is actually pointing down my garden, which is where I wanted it. Under the canopy here, we have got five LED down lights. So as I walk along here, you can obviously see all five of those on the bottom of this, what is actually quite a long canopy. Um, we've also done ceiling, and you can see here around the edges of doors, pretty much everywhere where we found gaps or anything, they have been sealed. Um, again, you can see there, down the sides there, cracks, um, etc, etc. Okay, so the I'm going to say the only other thing we've done, but it did take quite a long time. We did this over two days, not two full days, but we have insulated the inside, so the walls and the ceiling. Um, so let's open these doors up now, and you will get to see what this is now looking like inside. Okay, so there's the doors opened up, um, and if we just pan around, they are different coloured insulation panels. It's only the colour; they are pretty much identical. Just that we, where we bought these, ran out of this design, so we had to buy the kind of plain grey design here. But I'm going to move back, pan up, so you can see all in the ceiling. That's all insulated. Um, obviously, all around the walls. Um, like so, so all the insulation is now done and of course I forgot to mention the other major thing that's happened inside here this week You can kind of see it. We have wires So we have had the electrician in and he's done the first fix of the electrics. So I'm gonna have four um, LED strip lights in here. So one two if I turn around three and four um, Independently controlled both sides so I can have those two lights on and those two lights off, or vice versa, or clearly all four on. We've also got plug sockets. Again, it's the first fix, so they obviously haven't got the fascias on or anything yet. We can see all the cable in there running up um, to the plug socket. So we've got one double socket there. If we go down to this wall, double socket there, a double socket there. And there's one beneath that. I'll just pull it out just to show you. There we go, double socket there. A double socket there and at this end um, there are two double sockets there which I am not going to move that because that is all the plasterboard and it's heavy so you can kind of see oh, there's one of my son's little drawings there <laughs> and you can see here all the plasterboard waiting to go up so that's this weekend's job which I'm really not looking forward to down here is where the consumer unit is going to be going so the fuse box etc so you can see the cable coming in there, but that's where that is going to be fitted. Um, obviously, the electrician can't put the fuse box on or put the fascias on and actually power this up yet until we've got this all boarded out. Um, hence why it's called the first fix. Um, so there we go. That is a overview of what we've been doing during the last week. Um, apart from the electrics, that's been done by an electrician, which obviously I've had to pay for, for someone to come in to do that. Um, but the rest of it has been done by myself, my brother-in-law, and my father-in-law. Okay, so back outside now. Again, you can see some more of that ceiling. 
um, where it's done there. The reason I brought you out here, this is the rear of the Lego room. There you can see where the cable is going in, so that's obviously the power going into the Lego room. This has all got to be um, dug in, buried, etc. But it runs down my fence, you can't see, they've got a few things here. Um, but there it runs down this fence, goes all the way down behind some trees, etc. down there. Um, and down to a power supply um, at my house or off the power supply down at my house but that's all got to be dug in um, etc um, but there's no rush to get that done okay so just giving you this shot from the outside um, that's kind of it for the update for building my lego room it is week eight i'm sure you'll agree a lot of progress again really exciting obviously once we've got that plasterboard on um, got it all filled in etc we'll be painting it laying the floor um, and whilst that's going on hopefully the electrician will be back to do his final fix on the electrics get the sockets fitted get the power actually connected up um, and get those lights up on that ceiling and get all these powered up as well out here but i can't wait it's so exciting now i am just so so pleased with how this is coming along. Okay, so I mentioned at the beginning of this video just a couple of other updates, etc. So I'm just going to quickly go through those. I don't want this video to go on forever. But some of them are quite they're exciting for me anyway. So, firstly, my iPhone 6 Plus. I finally got the screen fixed. For those of you who did see it, I've maybe seen it on previous videos. I did break it. I've got it fixed. New screen on the front of that. Got it done well, the same weekend as we've done this work on the Lego room. However, my iPhone 7 Plus is turning up today and I cannot wait. I ordered it on the release date um, and here we are um, turning up today in around about four hours or so. But I will do an unboxing video of that um, and get that uploaded as soon as I can. But I'm really excited for that. I've got the black version 256 gig. Um, iPhone 7 Plus so can't wait for that um, so yeah that phone's been fixed new iPhone on its way I've also for those that you are aware I'm quite into my Pokemon Go I've got the Pokemon Go Plus and I've been using this a lot and uh, oh it's flashing red there that's because I haven't got signal um, my opinion on it has been mixed in the main I have to say positive um, the things that I found frustrating is it does for me anyway it seems to disconnect far more often than what I'd like it to um, but I travel where I live I live outside of London but I mainly work in London and I commute I go by the train most of the time so this is fantastic I can just sit on the train with this in my hand and just click away as we go through Pope stops and catching Pokemon etc uh, the catch rate on the Pokemon isn't fantastic I would say it's you're probably catching 20 30 percent um, in my opinion um, but it's great for the Pope stops um, so yeah loving it awesome a few little um, grumbles about it but overall fantastic and i'm just pleased i managed to get hold of one because they are pretty much unavailable everywhere so my final bit of news is i have i don't know what to tell you actually i won't tell you what it is i have just literally within the last half an hour um ordered something that i am so so excited about um and it's not being released until mid-october so you can in fact actually Leave me down in the comments. It's being released in mid-October. What do you think it may be? Knowing me, now my interest, obviously Lego is a main interest. I'll give you a hint. It's not Lego. Um, but I'm a bit of a tech geek um, as well. Um, which you may see from, depending on which channel you watch this on, but my web's channel. So, being released in mid-October, I'm hoping that I'm going to be one of the first ones to, uh, um, to receive it. It was only announced... The 27th of September, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was the 27th of September, so it was only announced then. So you may be able to work this out. But yeah, leave down in the comments, please do, because I'll be interested to see what you guys think it is. But really excited to get it. I've looked at quite a few videos of it, and I think it looks awesome. So excited about it. So yeah, apologies for my excitement. Um, other bit of news, really. Just go and check out, if you're not on the web channel at the moment, check out the web channel. I do lots of unboxings and stuff. This is a fairly new camera that I'm recording this on. My unboxing of this is up on that channel now. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, again, oh, where we are? We are flashing green. So that is a Pokemon. Um, so that's just either catching or not going in. Three flashes, and then what's going to happen? So it's caught one. Multicoloured, 
just caught a Pokemon as I'm doing this video, so there we go, it works, awesome. Um, yeah, G7X Mark II, this is on there with lots and lots of other videos, I do haul videos for all the other stuff I buy which is non-LEGO related, so uh, yeah, check that out and just leave me some feedback, I'm looking for a bit more support on that channel, just kind of sharing my passion and my life and what I buy really, more than what I do. Um, but anyway, much longer video than normal, I suspect, once I've edited this, but just wanted to share that news with you because I'm quite excited about certain things, um, but in particular what's going to be arriving, hopefully, mid to end October. Um, keep your eyes peeled for that because there will be a definitely an unboxing of it, um, and I'm sure there'll be review videos of it as well. That's the other thing, if you want me to do reviews on these things, like if you want a review on that, I've done an unboxing. If you want a review on this camera, I've done an unboxing, tell me in the comments, please tell me. So I'm not, to be honest with you, I'm not going to waste my time doing reviews if you're not going to be interested and not going to be watching those videos. Apologies for the noise over there, that's my neighbour. Um, he's a bit of a carpenter, so he's always cutting up bits of wood and building whatever he is. But anyway, that's what that noise is over there. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Please like the video, subscribe, share, all that fantastic stuff. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Cheers, bye for now, everyone.